Welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into history's most infamous rulers ones whose reigns were marked by controversy, chaos, and sometimes even calamity. Join us as we explore the stories of the worst kings in the world, discovering the impact they had on their kingdoms and the legacies they left behind. From tyrants to inept leaders, these historical figures have left a lasting mark on the pages of history. Get ready to uncover the fascinating and often cautionary tales of the rulers who earned their place among the worst kings in history. 1. The Story of Vlad the Impaler Vlad Teeps, forever etched in history as Vlad the Impaler, ruled Wallachia with an iron fist in the 15th century. His reign was a chilling tapestry of fear and brutality, where cruelty reigned supreme and mercy was a forgotten virtue. Tales of his sadistic punishments spread like wildfire, whispering through villages and echoing across courtly halls. He reveled in inflicting agonizing pain, employing methods that horrified even the most hardened souls. Disembowelment, impalement through orifices, and grotesque displays of torture became his macabre calling card. One chilling episode etched itself forever into the annals of history. Outside the walls of his capital, a gruesome spectacle unfolded. 20,000 souls, men, women, and even innocent children were subjected to a barbaric display of cruelty. Skinned alive, boiled in cauldrons, their heads severed from their bodies, their eyes gouged out, their breaths choked away by hangmen's nooses, their flesh burned and roasted, their bodies hacked and dismembered, their cries silenced by the earth as they were buried alive, or by the cold steel of knives plunged deep into their hearts. The sheer scale of this barbarity transcended mere cruelty. It was a calculated act of terror, designed to instill fear and obedience in the hearts of his subjects. The image of 20,000 bodies impaled on stakes, a gruesome forest of suffering, became a symbol of Vlad's sadistic reign, a chilling reminder of his boundless capacity for inflicting terror. Vlad's legacy is a complex one. While some view him as a ruthless tyrant, others hail him as a national hero a strong leader who protected his people from Ottoman invaders. However, there is no denying the brutal reality of his reign, a period marked by fear, suffering, and an unparalleled level of cruelty that secured his place in history as the notorious, the infamous, Vlad the Impaler. 2. The Shadow of Ivan the Terrible A Reign of Blood and Terror Ivan IV, forever etched in history as Ivan the Terrible, was more than just a king. He was a force of darkness that cast a long shadow over Russia. His thirst for power and his twisted sense of justice resulted in a reign of terror unlike any other. Every day, the sun rose upon a scene of unimaginable horror in Ivan's court. Hundreds, sometimes thousands, of unfortunate souls were dragged in chains their faces etched with fear and resignation. These weren't enemies on the battlefield. They were often innocent citizens, accused of the slightest transgression or suspected of disloyalty. Their fate was sealed before they even stepped into the Grand Hall. They would be subjected to unimaginable torture, their screams echoing through the halls as Ivan watched with a chilling indifference. Some were subjected to public floggings, their flesh torn open under the lash. Others were forced to endure barbaric mutilations, their bodies contorted in unimaginable ways. But the most dreaded punishment was the one that gave Ivan his infamous nickname, Impalement. Men, women, even children, were skewered alive on sharpened stakes, left to writhe in agony as their lifeblood slowly drained away. The air hung heavy with the stench of death and despair, a constant reminder of the king's absolute cruelty. Ivan's reign wasn't just about brutality. It was about absolute control. He created a network of loyal enforcers known as the Apricnina, who were empowered to carry out his will with impunity. They were like a pack of wolves unleashed upon the land, spreading fear and devastation wherever they went. Towns and villages were razed to the ground, innocent families torn apart, and anyone who dared oppose the king faced a gruesome demise. Russia became a land of shadows, where whispers of Ivan's tyranny replaced the sounds of laughter and joy. 
The psychological impact of Ivan's reign was immeasurable. Fear and paranoia became deeply ingrained in the Russian psyche, a legacy that would take generations to overcome. Even today, the name Ivan the Terrible evokes a sense of dread and horror, a stark reminder of the depths of human cruelty. He may have been a king, but Ivan was also a monster, a man whose thirst for power and blood plunged his country into an abyss of suffering. His reign was a dark chapter in Russian history, a testament to the devastating consequences of unchecked power, and a chilling reminder that even the most powerful rulers are ultimately slaves to their own darkest desires. 3. The Tale of King Firen, A Legend of Arrogance and Mystery King Firen, a name whispered in hushed tones, ruled Egypt with an iron fist. His heart, consumed by pride and arrogance, led him to a terrible delusion, he declared himself a god. The people, under his tyrannical rule, were forced to bow down and worship him as a divine being. For those who dared to doubt his divinity, cruel and unusual punishments awaited. Legend tells a curious tale of King Firen's demise. When his time came to an end, neither fire nor earth would accept his body. His remains, unclaimed by the elements, were preserved and placed within a museum, where they lie to this day. But the enigma surrounding King Firen doesn't end there. It is said that his body possesses an otherworldly peculiarity. Its weight inexplicably increases with the passing years. Furthermore, the passage of time seems to hold no sway over his mortal form for his body remains miraculously untouched by decay. These extraordinary occurrences continue to fuel the legend of King Firen. Was he truly a man who believed himself to be a god? Or is there a deeper truth hidden beneath the layers of myth and history? Whether truth or legend, the story of King Firen serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of pride and arrogance. It reminds us that even the most powerful rulers are ultimately subject to the same fate as any mortal being. The mystery surrounding his preserved body serves as a constant reminder of the unanswered questions that still shroud his life and death. For the dark legacy of Leopold II and the Congo. King Leopold II of Belgium, a man once celebrated for his role in European expansion, now stands condemned for the brutal exploitation of the Congo Free State. His reign in this vast African territory, stretching from 1885 to 1908, was marked by a ruthless policy of forced labor that resulted in the deaths of millions of Congolese people. Leopold's insatiable thirst for wealth, fueled by the desire for rubber and ivory, led him to impose a system of forced labor that enslaved the Congolese people. Under his rule, they were forced to work long hours in harsh conditions, extracting resources that enriched Leopold while devastating their lives and communities. The brutal methods employed by Leopold's regime were horrific. Violence, torture, and mutilation were commonplace, used as tools to enforce obedience and extract maximum output from the enslaved population. Those who failed to meet impossible quotas faced unimaginable punishments, further deepening their misery. The consequences of Leopold's actions were catastrophic. Estimates suggest that over 15 million Congolese people died during his reign, either directly from violence and starvation or indirectly from disease and the breakdown of their social structures. This devastating loss of life represents a dark chapter in human history, a stain on the legacy of Leopold and a testament to the devastating consequences of colonialism. In the wake of international exposure and outrage, Leopold was eventually forced to relinquish control of the Congo Free State in 1908. However, the damage had already been done. The Congolese people were left to grapple with the aftermath of decades of exploitation, their country ravaged and their communities fractured. Today, the legacy of Leopold II and the Congo Free State serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of colonialism and the dangers of unchecked power. His name remains synonymous with greed, brutality, and exploitation. A cautionary tale for future generations to learn from and work towards a more just and equitable world. 
5. Attila the Hun, the Scourge of Europe Attila the Hun, a name synonymous with fear and destruction, was one of the most notorious rulers in history. His reign, spanning the 5th century, was marked by relentless expansion and brutal warfare. Attila inherited the Hunnic Empire from his uncle, Rua, in 34 CE. He quickly consolidated his power and set his sights on expanding his already vast territory. Under his leadership, the Huns became a dominant force, striking terror into the hearts of their enemies. In 451 CE, Attila launched a massive invasion of Gaul, modern-day France. His army, estimated to number over 200,000 strong, swept through the countryside leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Villages were razed, cities were sacked, and countless lives were lost. Attila's reign of terror was finally checked at the Battle of the Catalanian Plains. This epic clash fought in present day Clans and Champagne, France, pitted Attila's forces against a Roman-led coalition under the command of Aetius. Despite his defeat at the Catalanian Plains, Attila remains etched in history as a ruthless and feared leader. His name continues to evoke images of savagery and bloodshed, and his legacy serves as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of unrestrained power. However, it's important to note that Attila's legacy is complex and multifaceted. While his brutality is undeniable, some historians argue that he was also a shrewd politician and a skilled military strategist. He unified disparate tribes under his banner and forged a powerful empire that stretched from the Caspian Sea to the Rhine River. While the original text described Attila as one of the evil rulers in human history and emphasized his bloodshed battle and slaughter, this rewrite has attempted to present a more balanced perspective by acknowledging both his brutality and his strategic brilliance. It is important to remember that historical figures are rarely simply good or evil, and their actions should be evaluated within the context of their time and circumstances. 6. The Fearsome Legacy of Genghis Khan Genghis Khan wiped out 11% of the world's population. Genghis Khan, a name synonymous with conquest and terror, was a Mongolian warrior who rose to become one of the most powerful figures in history. His military genius and ruthless tactics forged a vast empire stretching across Asia and Europe. But beyond his undeniable achievements lies a legacy stained with blood, marked by tales of unimaginable cruelty. Legend tells of a chilling ritual he practiced after each victory. Khan, convinced that individuals below a certain height lacked the stature and strength to be worthy of life, would order the execution of every dwarf or short person found among the conquered people. This practice, driven by a warped sense of superiority, fueled the fear that shrouded his name. Despite this brutality, Khan's name carries a paradoxical weight. Some revere him as a visionary leader who united warring tribes and established an empire that shaped the course of history. Others see him solely as a bloodthirsty conqueror who brought untold suffering upon countless innocent lives. One enduring myth claims that a staggering one in three people across the globe carries the bloodline of Genghis Khan. This claim, while lacking conclusive scientific evidence, speaks to the sheer scale of his conquests and the undeniable mark he left on the world's gene pool. Genghis Khan's legacy remains a complex and contentious one. He was a brilliant strategist and ruthless ruler, a figure who both united and devastated nations. While his achievements are undeniable, his cruelty cannot be ignored. The fear he instilled and the lives he claimed continue to echo through the corridors of history, serving as a stark reminder of the potential for both greatness and barbarity within humanity. 7. The Shadow of Robespierre, A Reign of Mistrust and Blood Maximilien Robespierre, a name etched into history with both admiration and dread, was a figure of immense contradiction. A man who championed liberty, equality, and fraternity, he led France through the tumultuous years of the French Revolution, but his methods have left a complex legacy. 
Robespierre, deeply suspicious by nature, was consumed by an unwavering distrust of his fellow citizens. He saw potential enemies everywhere, lurking in the shadows, seeking to undermine the revolution he held so dear. This paranoia fueled a relentless pursuit of enemies of the state, leading him down a dark path of violence and bloodshed. Without trials or due process, Robespierre unleashed a reign of terror. He established courts designed to swiftly eliminate dissenters, and the guillotine, an instrument of public execution, became a gruesome symbol of his authority. Estimates suggest that during his brief reign, over 5,000 people were beheaded, accused of nothing more than being suspicious or inconvenient. The bloodshed was swift and shocking, leaving a nation reeling. While some saw it as a necessary evil to safeguard the revolution, others became increasingly disillusioned by the brutality. Robespierre, once the champion of the people, was transforming into a tyrant, consumed by his own fear and paranoia. The terror, as it became known, ultimately proved to be Robespierre's undoing. His relentless pursuit of enemies created a climate of fear and suspicion that ultimately backfired. People began to fear him, seeing him not as a savior but as another oppressor. In a dramatic twist of fate, Robespierre, the man who had executed so many without hesitation, found himself facing the guillotine. His reign of terror, fueled by distrust and paranoia, had come to a bloody end. The legacy of Robespierre remains a subject of debate. While some celebrate his role in the revolution, Others condemn his authoritarian methods and the bloodshed he orchestrated. He serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the devastating consequences of fear-driven leadership. 8. The Cruel Jengd Emperor A Story of Madness and Mayhem The Jengd Emperor ruling China from 1505 to 1521 was a man as colorful as he was unpredictable. He left an indelible mark on history, not for wise leadership or grand accomplishments, but for his eccentricity, cruelty, and penchant for the absurd. Zheng's reign was a whirlwind of bizarre events. Instead of the affairs of state, he preferred leading impulsive military expeditions, indulging in fantastical whims like commanding an imaginary twin brother named General Zhushu. He delegated much of his authority to a powerful eunuch named Liu Jin, a decision that backfired spectacularly. Their partnership soured after five years and Jengd, with characteristic ruthlessness, ordered Liu's execution by a slow and agonizing process of slicing. Jengd's eccentricities were legendary. Folk tales and novels of the Ming Dynasty depict him as a gullible fool, easily led astray by his own whims. One such story recounts him savoring a bowl of rice gruel, mistakenly believing it to be made from cooked pearls. While Zheng's reign was marked by chaos and extravagance, he was not without positive contributions. He oversaw cultural advancements and strength in the northern borders of China. However, his legacy is ultimately overshadowed by his bizarre behavior, cruelty, and disregard for the responsibilities of rulership. The Jengd Emperor remains a fascinating figure in Chinese history, a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked power and a reminder that even emperors are not immune to the allure of madness and absurdity. 9. Tamerlane the Great built towers out of enemies' skulls. Tamerlane, also known as Timur, ruled for for decades 1365 to 1405 and carved out a vast empire stretching from Russia to India and the Mediterranean. He was a skilled and ruthless conqueror, often inspired by the legacy of Genghis Khan. Like his ancestor, Tamerlane believed in swift and decisive victories. His campaigns were marked by brutal tactics and devastating consequences for conquered cities. Tens of thousands perished in cities like Isfahan, Aleppo, and Tikrit with rumors claiming numbers as high as 70,000 casualties in some instances. Fear was a key weapon in Tamer Lane's arsenal. He employed spies to spread tales of his exploits like the burning of a mosque in Damascus filled with civilians to demoralize his enemies before battle. The most chilling example of his brutality is the construction of towers in Baghdad. 
said to be built from the skulls of 90,000 beheaded victims. This gruesome testament to his ruthlessness served as a stark warning to those who dared to oppose him. However, Tamir Lane's legacy is more complex than simply that of a brutal conqueror. While some historians emphasize his barbarity, others acknowledge his contributions as a patron of art and culture. He built magnificent cities like Samarkand, which still stand as a testament to his ambition and architectural vision. Ultimately, Tamer Lane remains a controversial figure. His reign was marked by both conquest and creativity, leaving behind a legacy that is both admired and condemned. His story serves as a reminder of the complex nature of history, where ambition and ruthlessness can coexist with cultural achievements and architectural marvels. 10. The Madness of Caligula, a Roman Emperor's Descent into Debauchery Caligula, the Roman emperor who reigned from 37 to 41 AD, remains a figure shrouded in infamy. His brief reign was marked by extravagance, cruelty, and a descent into madness that continues to captivate historians and the public alike. From the outset, Caligula's rule was characterized by lavish spending. He showered his friends and family with gifts through extravagant parties and built grand monuments to himself. His disregard for the treasury soon emptied the state coffers, leading to increased taxes and hardship for the common people. Caligula's cruelty was as legendary as his extravagance. He was quick to anger and prone to outbursts of violence, often ordering the execution of anyone who displeased him. He even went as far as declaring himself a god and demanding that the Roman people worship him. His eccentricities knew no bounds. In one instance, he reportedly ordered the construction of a massive floating bridge across the Bay of Naples, a seemingly pointless feat undertaken solely to demonstrate his power. To further mock his enemies, he commanded his troops to gather seashells from the beach, presenting them as spoils of war from a fictitious battle against Neptune, the Roman god of the sea. Caligula's reign of terror was tragically short-lived. After just four years, he was assassinated by his own Praetorian guard, a fitting end for a man who had become consumed by his own madness. The legacy of Caligula is one of cautionary tales. He serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the destructive nature of unbridled ambition. His story continues to fascinate us centuries later, offering a glimpse into the depths of human depravity and the fragility of even the most powerful empires. Thanks for joining us on this journey through history's most notorious rulers. Their stories remind us of the impact leaders can have, for better or worse. If you enjoyed learning about these kings, hit the like button, subscribe for more intriguing historical content, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.